Hello, I'm Herm Gailey here on an extremely hot afternoon. It's probably low upper 90s, but there's a breeze moving and you know, how bad do you want to ride? So we're out here riding uh, and my friend Melanie's here with her three-year-old. We recently posted a video about tying this filly's head around because she had some real issues with bending and steering. And we've done a couple other things with her steering, so we thought we'd just do a little update on her. She also had a little bit of an issue with taking her left lead. So I thought we'll put in a real simple way that I like to use to get a horse stepping away from your right leg and picking up that left lead. It's a work in progress, but it is making progress. Finally, if you happen to notice this horse leaking saliva, we have a lot of clover in our pastures this year and a good a mouthful or two of clover or a belly full of clover will really get their salivary glands going. Harmless, but it's not real aesthetically pleasing. They say you want a horse with a moist mouth. Well, he's got about a gallon of moisture that will probably leak out of him. Won't hurt him. Make sure he has plenty of water. And if you were to keep him in for 24 hours, it would go away, uh, which I do if he you know, if he, if he keeps being this leaky. But I just wanted to tell folks that before they said, oh my gosh, your horse has rabies. Well, if he has rabies, it's not showing up there. So let's move her around a little bit and uh, just sort of show what you're doing to steer her now. <clears throat> Why don't we go to the left? <coughs> so one of the things that we worked with was sort of doing away with a natural tendency that people have, especially with young horses or horses that are just learning to steer. And that is to get way, way out to the outs or the inside and try to pry your horse's head around and get him to steer around a circle. What tends to happen is that's like inviting your horse to do this. So the horse will run through his shoulder and the more you pull, the more you get, but not his shoulder. If you steer more like this, pick up, steer, pick up, steer, with a release in between, pick up, release, steer, release, and use some leg and not get over invested in your hands. So if you just pick up and use some leg, pick up use some leg you get a response so that's what we're gonna do with this filly and we'll see how it's going she was kind of a challenge but she's coming around real nice so why don't you trot her around and just steer her around and show the, the folks who are watching what we're doing to get her steering a little better so just pick up and steer her over now release and the most important part is the slack that comes after she steers over. Sometimes it's help, it helps to say, make a circle by making four straight lines with right angle turns, or the equivalent. So that you have some straight time built in when you almost naturally will release. See how she is not running through her shoulder, she's steering around. Now if she leans on your leg at all, Melanie, Use your outside leg, your right leg, and even lay a little bit of a spur against her. We've started using spurs on her. Uh, because your hands should be the least part of the steering. Your hands show the way, but your legs that really move them where you need them. So just sort of bring her down and trot a real small circle. Real small, just make a real little circle. But you still gotta release. There you go. Pick up, release. Pick up and use a little outside leg. There you go. Now let her trot away a little bit because she came right around. And that's good. So what we had before was a horse that literally would run out of the pen by running through her shoulder. Now she has picked up the idea that she can get relief, which is what every horse craves, when she steers over and comes to your hand. So if you watch Melanie steering her and the horse comes to her, instead of Melanie going to the horse, and that's a very important distinction. So why don't we show these folks that may be watching 
what we've been doing to get her picking up that left lead. Now it's a little bit backwards from what you might expect. We're going to put her on a fairly tight right circle, tip her nose around, and we have a little crop here that we use because we're going to put that right leg into her and move her hip to the left. See? And the reason we have that stick there, that dressage whip, is if she's heavy on your leg, we'll just tap her back there on the hip. So pick up her nose, move her hip over, see her hip going over, do that again, move her hip over, there you go. And you want some energy like that. Now why does that help your lead? Well, typically a horse misses a lead because they're not moving off your leg, they're pushing against you, and you can push against them, they push back, and all of a sudden you think you're going to the left, but they reach out with that right leg and you got a right lead. So this way we've got her lined up better than she's coming off your leg. Now what Melanie's going to do is she's going to take her down there and we're still setting her up and making it a little bit easy, but we'll trot her, get her in a position where she's lined up and oriented correctly to pick up that left lead. Melanie will ask her to lope over or lope off and we'll, we'll lope a circle or two on her. And it's the same deal, but a higher degree of difficulty when you steer that left leg over. Our left leg, that, the horse over to the left. So if you want to even leak down there toward the, the fence, if that helps you, but if she'll just orient herself to where she's going to go off to the left, just pick a time, make sure she's going. Drive her forward, there you go. Pick up, release. Pick up, pick up, release. Pick up. There you go, be sure to release her, pick up. So she's coming to her rider's hands instead of running through her shoulder. Now if she doesn't steer, Melanie, Put a leg in her, don't rely on your hands. Let her get her composure back, she stumbled there. Yeah, just get her moving forward, make sure she's coming off that right leg. She just sort of scared herself a little bit, she scared me a little bit. Now go ahead and drive her forward. There you go. Drive her. If she, if, she lit, if she lingers, if she lags, pop her in the backside with that stick and let her know forward is important. Steer her over. Good. Steer her over. Good. Steer her over. Steer her over. Lag. Lag. Yep, don't rely on your hand. Steer her over, put your leg, even a spur if you have to, and pick a nice soft spot and let her slow down and stop. Just stop her off your seat as much as you can. There you go, that's very nice. And you notice the little horse steps back a step or two. That's uh, really helping to build a nice stop on her. So that's kind of where this filly is, and we thought we'd update you because the last time we were saying all sorts of bad things about her and cranking her head around and being a little mean to her. Now she's, she's learned a little something. She's playing on the team. We appreciate her, and she's starting to be more appreciative of us. And that's really what it's all about. So good ride. Hope those of horses that might not steer too well, maybe that helps a little bit. And the lead thing will help too, get their hip moving away from your leg. That will activate that hind leg and you'll pick up that lead a whole lot easier. Give it a try and we'll see you next time.